It's a sight that hasn't been seen here for a century. A 23-meter schooner built with local wood by two local 20-somethings with a dream. Bringing you know, shipbuilding back to Nova Scotia I mean, 100 years ago, this area was, was a thriving shipbuilding center all along the, this coast of Nova Scotia. It started when the boys heard Evan's grandfather, Dan, tell the family stories of shipbuilding days gone by as they built this model. He was a great teacher and a master, a master carpenter and a builder, and uh, he definitely passed on a lot of traits uh, to my dad and to me. Among them, that love of boats. And so in this landlocked shop, they turned the masts and shaped the hull. Evan's grandfather, then 88 years old, crafted the wheel. His last project, he died in the spring. You know, it's still not easy. We miss having him here, but he was there every day. You know, he saw it, he knew what these boys could do, and he knew it was gonna happen, and he's here with all of us now. And plenty more, too. From far and wide, they came to see history finally repeat itself. We all had dreams when we grow up, and to watch somebody like that is a flawless ship, to watch it come together from young people. It sort of shows the, uh, the, the upbringing. But what really excites you about it? Uh, the last three and a half years comes down to one splash, really. The timing here is critical. The crew literally has a matter of moments to get the boat into the water during high tide. Oh, Canada! And so, with the singing of the national anthem, a prayer. We give thanks for all those who work at sea. And a bottle of champagne. It is time. The launch of a boat and a dream that has captivated two young men for so long. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Stewiak.